Hi guys, welcome to another Shopify tutorial video. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can add custom font without adding any CSS code. Yes, you won't be needing to touch any of the code. You don't need to add any font face CSS on any of your theme file. You can just add a section which we have created for you guys completely for free. No paid app, no paid code, no newsletter subscription. All you have to do is just follow this video add the section and you'll be able to add custom fonts on any of your Shopify theme, no matter you're using Horizon theme, Dawn theme, or any of the theme. So let me show you how the section basically works. So that you can see is the font, custom font. And I have downloaded this font using the font.com. They have really cool fonts and I have used one of the font, downloaded that and uploaded to my Shopify store and added to this heading. Now, if I go to the backend settings of this section, so that is the section which I've added in the header part, right? And if I click on that section, I have this option to enable and disable via this toggle. So that is disabled and I'm gonna enable that again. And you can see that the font has changed, right? And we can add multiple custom fonts. So all I have to do is just click on add font and I'll be able to add an additional one. I currently have just added one. So if I click on this font here, you can see that is the font name which I've given it. And that is the font URL, which I have uploaded. I'm going to teach you everything step by step. So stay with me for a moment. So as you can see, we have these selectors where if you enable H1, you have this enabled on H1. If I disable that, it is back to the normal font, which was available in the theme, right? You can do that same with the anchor tag. So notice this menu. Now, if I enable or toggle this on the anchor tag, it's going to change the font of the menu as well, because the menu is using the anchor tag now if i enable this anchor tag here you can see that the font is changed right so that i all had to do just enable the anchor tag and it's going to change the font of the menu so you can do that for any of the element like input element or h6 h1 h2 or if you want to do that for any custom css selector you're going to simply add in that css selector and it will update the font right now let me show you how to do that with the section which we have created just for you guys completely for free make sure to subscribe if you want to see the other uh free sections which we have we have created like more than 100 free sections just for you guys which are available in this youtube channel so make sure to subscribe that okay now i'm going to show you how you can add that on any of the theme i am currently using this on atelier i don't know how to pronounce that anyway uh, i'm gonna add this on a fresh theme Let's try adding the ritual theme. Okay, let's try this one. Click on add and the theme is being stored. Now guys, while this theme is being stored, there is a link in the description. If you are new to Shopify, you can sign up for the Shopify in just $1 a month, limited time offer. Make sure to check this link out. If you are new to Shopify, you can simply use this link to have your store for just $1 a month. Okay, our ritual theme is being added. The latest version is 3.1.0 and it's horizon based theme so all of the latest theme which shopify released is pretty much the same as horizon theme they're using the same horizon base and just the styling has changed like the colors or some fonts something like that so a little bit changed with the styling but the core liquid code is is the same for all of the horizon based theme right so i'm gonna publish this one here and show you guys how you can add custom font right okay let's preview this theme so in order to preview click on these three small dots and i'm gonna open the preview in a new tab so that's how this theme looks like right and okay nice we have the smart q slider as well nice i've seen this for the first time <laughs> anyway so let's try changing this heading with the custom font without touching any css code okay so which font do you guys like? Hmm. I like this one. Big Love Christmas. Let's try that one. So I'm going to download that. It's free for personal use, right? So I'm going to download. And the font is being downloaded. I'm going to upload that to my Shopify backend. And for that, you're going to click on content. Let's open that in a new tab as well. And then click on files. So under content, you have files, right? When you click on it, you'll be able to upload the custom font file. I'm going to click on files, click on upload file, 
and then we have this big love Christmas. I'm going to unarchive and upload this font here. Okay, guys, I have uploaded this font, big love. Right? That's the OTF file. So now the next step is to add the custom section on this theme. And for that, what we're going to do, we'll go to the code editor. So click on these three small dots and then click on edit code to open up the code editor. And from here, click on this section arrow here. And from here, click on this plus file sign, which is for the new file. So first click on this small arrow and then click on this plus sign to create the new section file. And I'm going to create that and name it custom font. You can name it whatever you want. Custom font dot liquid. That's the name I'm going to give it to. Right now I need to add in the code, which is present on this file. You will find the link in the description. Completely free, no newsletter, sign up, no bullshit, no paid wall. All you have to do is just open up this link and click on this copy code button. And if you are a developer and want to improve this code further, this is a GitHub repository link where you can basically add comment, fork the code and contribute more to help the Shopify community. Right now, let's click on copy code and paste in the code here. Once done, it's safe. I move on. I want to let you guys know that we have created an app for Shopify to help merchants like yours to increase the average order value, AOV, average order value. Meaning if you want to boost it via volume discount or tier based discount, the app name is called Big Bulk Discount. If you Google Big Bulk Discount Shopify, you will find the app in the top, which will help you add volume or tier based discount. So you can set up here. If someone buys two product, it's going to give 10%. If someone buys three items, it's going to get 20%. So you, get, you can add tier based discount on your Shopify very easily. And it's going to give you a really cool widget on the product page as well. So make sure to try the app. Seven day free trial is available. And we're going to proceed with the tutorial now. We have added our custom section. Now we will add it in our theme. How do we do that? So let's click on this Shopify icon here and go to customize theme. You can alternatively go to your theme customizer from theme section as well. So if I click on online store and if I click on edit theme, it's also going to open theme customizer. So no matter you click on here or you click this customized theme, it's going to open the customized theme, right? Here we have our theme customizer and in here under header, or you can add it on footer as well because these two sections are global. So let's click on add section. And here you can see that we have this custom font section showing up. I'll just add the custom font. And now under custom font, we have this option of add font. Click on add font and click on this font here. Now here you need to add in the font URL, which you uploaded on your Shopify backend. Now let's go to uh, the backend and get that URL. So again, I'm going to click on content and then files. Okay, so that's the file which we uploaded. And here you have this link for copying the link of the font, right? So click on this copy link and then paste the code, paste the URL here. And that's it. Now, all I have to do is just toggle it on and it's going to change the font. So let's do that for the menu. I'm going to do that for anchor tag and you can see that the font of the menu has changed, right? And if we toggle this on for every font, it's going to implement that on all of the theme. So font is changed for all of the theme. You can see that the product written here. Now, if you want to disable that, you can simply go there and click on disable here. And if you don't want to add it in these selectors, which are showing up here, you can simply add in your own custom CSS selector. If in some case, uh, this, these toggles are not working. You can add in your own CSS selector as well. So that's how easy it is to add in your custom font on any of the theme without touching any CSS code. All you have to do is just add this custom section, which is available for you completely for free. Make sure to use it and add in the custom font. That's it for this video, guys. Until next video, have a great day.